In this video, I'll show you how to make a school board and PowerPoint which can span across multiple slides. So hit the like button and let's get started. Take a rectangle shape and draw it over here. Type 0. We are going to keep our scores in that. Take a text box and type Team 1. Now we need two shapes on click of which the points are going to increase and decrease. So take this X multiplication shape and make that in red. Similarly, choose the L shape. This can be customized to be our tick mark. Draw it over here, change the color to green and let us flip it horizontally. Customize it as required. Now select the shape, click on select selection pane. Over here you can see the name of all these shapes. Double click on it and change the name to counter 1. This is essential for our code. Now go to the website pptvba.com slash coboard and copy this piece of code. Don't worry, I'm going to make it very simple for you. Right click, customize the ribbon and make sure that your developer tab is enabled. After you do that, go to your developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Right click VBA project, click on insert module. Now just paste the code that we had copied. Over here, you can see counter 1. This is the name of the shape, right? And we need to change 1 to x to whatever slides we have the school board in. We only have one slide, so let us do that. Copy paste the code once more, and instead of addition, this is going to be subtraction. So change it accordingly. Now, select the x symbol, click on insert, action, and change this to run macro, counter 1, sub. On click of that, this macro is going to be run. Similarly, for the other shape, run the macro counter 1 add. Now, you're going to select all of these. Press Ctrl Shift on your keyboard and drag it over here. This is going to be Team 2 and the name of the shape is going to be Counter 2, not Counter 1. Now go back to your developer code, copy paste the Counter 1 add and Counter 1 sub and let's change that to Counter 2. Wasn't that simple? Now select the new shapes, go to insert, action, run macro, counter to sub and counter to add. So on click of the button, these macros or these codes are going to be run. Now select all of this and copy paste it in all the slides using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Go back to your code, we see i equal to 1 to 1. Make that 1 to 4 because we want it to span across the first 4 slides. And that is it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I thank you for giving me your time. Now, we need to add a reset button. With this button, the scores are going to be 0 and 0. So if you have your shapes ready, go to your Visual Basic panel and copy this set of code once. Over here, rename it to counter reset and counter equals to zero because we are making everything zero, right? Copy this part of the code and make sure that this is counter two. So counter one equals to zero, counter two should also equal to zero. After this, choose the reset shape, go to insert action and make sure that it runs counter reset. And by clicking on it, all of them become zero. And make sure to save this PowerPoint file as a .pptm, macro enabled presentation or macro enabled show, or else all the codes might get deleted. So if you like this video, you should consider signing up for my newspaper and browsing this website. The free file is also available for download. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.